Assalamu alaikum students. Today we will solve the MCQs of carboxylic acid and its derivatives. The first MCQ is the general formula for carboxylic acid is now look at here. If we put n is equal to 1, we know that here in option A, if we put n is equal to 1, so we will get CH2 C double bond OH, okay, which is incorrect. If we put n is equal to 1 in option B, so we will get CH2 C double bond OH, okay. It means that the valency of this carbon is not satisfied. Look at the option C. If we put n is equal to 1 in option C, so we will get CH3 C double bond OH, which is acetic acid, okay. So it means that the valency of all the carbons is satisfied, okay. So option C is correct here. Look at the D option. If we put n is equal to 1 in option D, so we will get CH4 C double bond OH, which is also incorrect. So option C is correct here. Look, CN, CH2, CN, H2N plus 1, C double bond OH is the general formula for carboxylic acid. Ethanol can be converted into ethanoic acid by oxidation. When we oxidize the ethanol, we will get aldehyde, okay? And then when aldehyde is oxidized, so in this case, we will get ethanoic acid. This aldehyde will be ethanol, okay? Which means acetaldehyde. So here option B is correct. Acetic acid is also called ethanoic acid. Look, this one is the acetic acid. Here, two carbon is present, so we will get the ethanoic acid. Which one of the following doesn't have carboxylic acid group? So, option C, picric acid do not have carboxylic acid group. So, look at here. This one is the benzoic acid, okay? It also contains carboxylic acid group. This one is the picric acid, okay? So, it do not have carboxylic acid group, which means that this one is the correct answer, okay? Look at this one. It is the structure of aspirin, okay? Aspirin also contains the carboxylic acid group, and it is aspirin is also called acetyl, acetyl salicyclic acid. So, picric acid do not have carboxylic acid group. Which one of the following is the weakest acid? So, acetic acid is the weakest. Now let me tell you the reason. Look at here, these four options are given and we have to find the weakest acid, okay? So first of all, we know that chlorine is what? Chlorine is the electron withdrawing group, okay? So it will attract the electron toward itself, okay? And the other thing is that methyl, methyl is the electron donating group. It means that it will donate the electron to the carbon, okay? So look at here. Chlorine is the electron withdrawing group, okay? So what will happen? This chlorine will withdraw the electron from this carbon, okay? Now, when the electron is withdrawn from this carbon, due to inductive effect, electron will also be withdrawn from this carbon, okay? And in turn, the electron density around this carbon will be decreased, okay? Now, when the electron density around this carbon decreased, so what will happen? This uh, this oxygen sorry when the electron density around this car this oxygen decreases so what will happen the bond between these two will weaker okay when the strength of this bond become weaker so the bond will the, this hydrogen will easily detach from this oxygen so we can say that it is a strong acid okay now look at here this is the electron donating group, okay? When it donates the electron to this carbon, then due to inductive effect, the electron density around this oxygen will increase, okay? Now, when the electron density around this oxygen increases, so what will happen? This oxygen will become more negative, okay? The negative effect around this, uh, negative effect on this oxygen will increase, okay? So due to which this bond will become more stronger, okay? When this bond becomes stronger, so what will happen? We will say that this hydrogen will unable to detach easily from this oxygen, okay? So in turn, we say that this one will be the weak acid, okay? And this one is the strong acid because the electron density around this oxygen increases due to which the, this bond become weaker and hydrogen can easily be detached from this oxygen. So this one is stronger. Now look at the other options. Look at the C option. Here is only one chlorine atom, okay? And here is two chlorine atom, which means that it, these two chlorine atom will attract more electron toward itself, okay? So in turn, the bond will be very much weaker. Here is one chlorine atom, so the bond will not be weaker as compared to this, okay? And look at the D option. 
here is the three chlorine atom attached to the carbon which means that the electron withdrawing power will be strong as compared to all these okay so this bond will be very much weaker as compared to all okay when this bond is weaker so hydrogen will be easily detached from the oxygen and in turn this acid will be the stronger of these all okay so we says that here the bond between hydrogen and oxygen is stronger as compared to all these so this one will be the weaker acid and look the, here the hydrogen and oxygen bond is weaker so this one will be the stronger acid okay so in mcq the required one was the weaker acid so option b is the correct one now in conclusion we says that greater the electron withdrawing group greater the acidity or stronger the acid look in option d the electron withdrawing group is greater okay so this one is the stronger acid and the other point is that greater the electron withdrawing group weaker the acid okay now here is the electron withdrawing group present electron donating group sorry electron donating group is present here so it means that this acid will be the weaker because of the, the strong bond here okay so option b is correct here look acetic acid is the weakest acid CH3 C double bond Na sodium acetate and CH3 C double bond OCl acetyl chloride when react it will give acetic anhydride option C is correct look at here when these two react what will happen this oxygen will get negative charge and sodium will get positive charge okay this one will get negative and this one will get positive so in on negative charge what will happen this positive will combine with this negative okay so it will give acetic anhydride plus NaCl okay the main product obtained when acetic acid react with PCl5 so this reaction is present in your book and it will give CH3 C double bond or Cl option A look at here this one is the reaction okay when carboxylic acid or acetic acid react with PCl5 it will give acetyl chloride sorry not acetyl it's acyl okay acyl chloride plus pocl3 plus hcl okay carboxylic acids have higher boiling point than alcohol because they possess extensive hydrogen bond option a is correct look at here this is the structure of carboxylic acid two carboxylic acid okay so carboxylic acid contain two hydrogen bond okay and it make dimer look these hydrogen bond are very much stronger okay so that's why its boiling point is high while uh, alcohol do not contain two hydrogen bond okay two alcohols contain only one hydrogen bond that's and here in acetic acid two hydro two acetic acid contain two hydrogen bond that's why its boiling point is high as compared to alcohol Acetic anhydride on reaction with ammonia produces. Look at here when this acetic anhydride react with ammonia, it gives the carboxylic acid, acetic acid, and acetamide. Okay. Look at here this when this bond will be broken down. Okay, and oxygen will get negative charge, and here it will give positive charge. So and this bond will also broken. So positive and negative. This positive will attach to this one. Okay, so acetic acid will form. And look, this one will attach to this NH2. Okay, so acetamide will form. Option C is the correct one. Okay. Chlorination of carboxylic acid in the presence of phosphorus produce alpha chlorocarboxylic acid. Option B is the correct one. Look at here. This one is the propanoic acid. Okay. So when this react with chlorine in the presence of red phosphorus. So it will give alpha chlorocarboxylic acid plus HCl. Okay. So look at here. The bond between carbon and hydrogen will be broken down. Okay. And one chlorine will attach to this one, and other will attach to hydrogen. So it will give alpha chlorocarboxylic acid. Okay. Which one of the following has highest melting point? First of all, uh, we have to do the comparison between the alcohol and acetic acid. Okay. Carboxylic acid. So we know that in carboxylic acid there is greater hydrogen bonding. Okay, greater number of hydrogen bonding is present in carboxylic acid. So we know that as compared to alcohol, the carboxylic acid will have greater melting and boiling point. So it means that this one is incorrect. Okay. Now the next thing is that we have to uh, compare. We have to compare the carboxylic acid. Okay. So the first thing is that for even number of carbon, the melting point will be higher. Okay. 
you should mark this one and for odd number of carbon the melting point will be lower okay now look at here in case of formic acid and propanoic acid they are the they contain odd number of carbon atom okay so it means that it has low melting point and look at here option b acetic acid it contain even number of carbon atoms so it means that it will have highest melting point option b is correct here carboxylic acid contain a carboxyl group okay and a carboxyl group consists of a carbonyl group and a hydroxyl group okay carbonyl and hydroxyl urea is an amide okay option b is correct look this is the structure of urea okay which is also called carbamide carboxylic acid on reaction with lithium aluminum hydride in the presence of ester produces alcohol okay option a is the correct one reduction of carboxylic ester carboxylic acid in the presence of ether in the presence of ether okay it gives the alcohol ester on hydrolysis produce now when we do hydrolysis of ester this reaction is called saponification okay and this reaction produce alcohol as well as the carboxylic acid look at here this one is the reaction okay so when we react the ester in the presence of NaOH when we react the ester with NaOH and here in the presence of water means that hydrolysis occurs okay so it will produce sodium acetate plus NHCH3OH alcohol so option C is correct here okay 16 which one of the following acid is the strongest now I have told you that greater the electron withdrawing group so stronger will be the acid now look at here formic acid contain only hydrogen okay look at here in case of acetic acid what will happen electron donating group is present okay so it means that this one is the weaker okay formic acid is also weaker acid the chloroacetate contain the electron withdrawing group so it means that this one will be stronger but look at the option b it contain dichloroacetate so greater the electron withdrawing group stronger will be the acid so option d is correct here of the following represent the formula of an arom aromatic carboxylic acid okay now look at here aromatic carboxylic acid is here option c okay this one is aliphatic okay and look at here this one is the alcohol okay because the oh group is sorry not the alcohol this one is the phenol okay the oh group is directly attached to the car to the benzene ring okay so it means that this one is the phenol okay and look at here this one is the alcohol okay because the OH group is not directly attached to the uh, benzene ring okay it is attached to the CH2 so this one is alcohol so it means that aromatic carboxylic acid is the option C which of the following acid is found in rancid butter okay butyric acid is found in the rancid butter okay butyric is which means butter okay which compound with highest boiling point which of the following has the highest boiling point so acetic acid has the highest boiling point because the dimer of acetic acid contain two hydrogen bond while the other water contain only one hydrogen bond in dimer okay and alcohol also contain one hydrogen bond while in case of ether ether do not contain hydrogen bonds okay so it means that option a is will have the highest boiling point which of the following compound the central atom doesn't show the sp2 hybridization so methanol shows the sp3 hybridization okay like look at here chh and oh okay so here is the four bonds so it will give sp3 hybridization which one is the strongest acid now we know that acetic the carboxylic acid is stronger as compared to alcohol so it means this one is incorrect okay now the next thing i told you that greater the withdrawing electron withdrawing group stronger will be the acid now so these two contain the electron withdrawing group okay so it means this one is incorrect okay okay the other point is that i have told you that greater the electron withdrawing group so stronger will be the acid now the next point you have to add is that greater the electronegativity of the electron withdrawing group stronger will be the acid okay so option d is correct here 
this fluorine contains greater electronegativity okay so it will withdraw the electron toward itself stronger as compared to the chlorine okay so option d is correct here acetic acid can be prepared by hydrolysis of methyl cyanide okay option a is the correct here look at here when we do the hydrolysis of methyl cyanide look at here this water means uh, hydrolysis now in the presence of hcl it will give carboxylic acid okay plus nh4cl while in the presence of base it will give the acetic sodium acetate plus nh3 okay or acetic acid can be prepared by the hydrolysis of methyl cyanide okay look at here option a is correct esterification is the reaction between an acid and alcohol option b is correct acyl chloride can be prepared by the reaction of with carboxylic acid okay Acyl chloride can be prepared by the reaction of carboxylic acid with thionyl chloride. Option C is correct. Okay, these reactions are present in your book. Okay, and look at the 25. The hydrolysis of an ester in the presence of alkali NaOH is known as saponification. Option A is the correct one. All the acid derivatives can be converted back into corresponding acid by one common reaction. Now. When we do the hydrolysis of the carboxylic acid derivatives, so what will happen? The, the, the derivatives will be converted back into the acid, okay? So option D is the correct one.